hi and welcome back to another long overdue Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, I wanted to just, instead of doing uh, procedural tasks and learning individual plugins, just show you how to do a basic animation, just kind of try to have some fun. So I just kind of whipped together this uh, animation here of this mouse running around some cheese with a nice uh, cinematic kind of looking background. Um, just using a few basic uh, things inside of Cinema 4D. So I'm gonna, just gonna jump right in and just show you how I did this. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to mixamo.com, uh, which is Adobe's uh, characters and animations that are all free to download. Um, so you see, I already have my mouse character uh, pulled up here from an existing login. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a sign up if you haven't done it yet. And then when you're in here, you're gonna go to characters and I'm just gonna search for mouse. And there it is, there's my mouse, mouse character. And then when we're done bringing that in, we're just gonna click on animations. And I'm gonna look for um, the jog in circle animation. And I'm gonna bring that in and I'm immediately gonna have my character uh, jogging in a circle. So pretty straightforward. Um, a couple things you can do here. Overdrive is really the speed at which this character runs. So if you want to do a slow motion run, you can turn it way down. If you want him to be moving at mouse speed, you can do that. Uh, you can also uh, adjust the number of frames here. So if you want to have 179 frames, roughly six seconds of video, just drag that out. Um, or you can just leave everything as default, which is kind of what I did just for the purposes of this uh, video. When you're ready to download, just I'm just going to hit download and we're going to download this as an FBX. Uh, I believe I downloaded it as a 7.4. And with skin, 30 frames per second and hit download and make sure you save that to a place on your computer uh, where, you, where it's easy to find. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right into Cinema 4D. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to merge in my project. Uh, where I downloaded my mouse. So I have my mouse jog and circle right here. I'm gonna open it up, just hit okay on everything. And we're not gonna reassign included takes. So we're gonna use the animation that came with the mouse. So we hit no, and there's our mouse. And down here you'll notice I have 178 frames to work with, or however many frames you decided to export. Now if I hit play, it's a little bit clunky in the speed that it runs, but that is my mouse animation playing out. So the next thing we need is some cheese. So I went to cgtrader.com and you can filter, you can log in, you can filter by what's free. And there's this free low poly cheese, uh, which comes with three pieces of cheese. I ended up just using the one piece of cheese, but maybe you wanna use the full wheel, maybe you wanna use just a little slice. We're just gonna hit free download. Okay, same as bringing the mouse in. Now we're back in Cinema 4D. I'm gonna merge the project with the piece of cheese. I'm gonna hit okay here and bring it in. And there is my piece of cheese. Unfortunately, I do not have a material here. So what I need to do is find the textures that came with it. And actually I'll leave reflectance on and I'm just gonna start. And I actually use the wrong image, you'll notice that uh, in these textures, you can actually look at them and you can tell this is my wheel because it's got two, two sides to it. This is my wedge and this is my chunk out material. So I'm just going to use the chunk out material and now you'll notice there is my piece of cheese. So we can basically blow away these other pieces of cheese and just work with this one here. I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and I'm just gonna make this piece of cheese a lot larger. A lot larger, but I don't wanna go too big with it. So let's keep it a little bit smaller. And I'm just gonna put it to roughly where I think the middle of this mouse jogging action is. And I can actually slide it over a little bit more and make it a little larger. And there's my mouse running around the cheese. All right, so we're like halfway there. 
The next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna create a floor. Um, there's other ways, more dynamic ways we could create a background, but let's create a floor and let's create a material. I'm gonna get rid of reflectance because this is gonna be my grass and I'm going to just use a noise and pick just two different types of green. So a dark green and a slightly lighter green and I'm gonna turn the scale down to something like 30%. And if we drag that in and take a quick look, you'll notice we kind of have a grass material there. So we are getting even closer. Now we need to add some lighting. Uh, what I use in the content browser here under presets religiously is the Grayscale Gorilla uh, Linear Daylight item here. And that just brings in some really good looking lighting just right out of the bat. If I, if I just render this, I've already got good shadows and a sun object and it has everything that I'm gonna need to, uh, to really bring this scene, scene to life. So um, we can expand the daylight here and in our sky sphere, what we can actually do is change this uh, within Cinema 4D. You should have some HDRI images uh, that come with it that we can uh, go ahead and, let's see, let's open up our sky texture and in the luminance channel, let's replace that with this sunset. And now let's take a look. Okay, now we have a sky background, but we're gonna need to play with this a little bit because uh, it's not, the sunlight in the image is not corresponding. So I keep dragging around here, making a mockery of this. I'm gonna set a camera right around here and just click this on and then click this off. And what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to rotate. And let's just try to frame up our sun. All right, so there's our sun object, but you can see that it doesn't correspond to where the texture is positioned. So let's come into uh, our coordinates on our sky sphere and let's rotate this around until we find the sun. And there it is. And the next thing we need to do is take the actual sun plane and bring this, oops, bring the position down. Well, that's scaling. Let's bring the position down to kind of match that. And let's take a look here. And now we've got it kind of in the same spot. The last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is on this compositing tag is we're gonna to wanna to have it uh, uh, not seen by the camera. So it'll do everything else you need, but now just by clicking that, the light is still being created, but you can't see it. So we basically have everything we need now um, to set up the scene. The last thing I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of a camera, camera move. So I'm gonna start with my camera over here and we'll do kind of like a hero shot across the sun by just by hitting a keyframe there and let's finish on the last frame we'll do something like that um, okay well it didn't do anything uh, let's see here I didn't have my camera selected I apologize for that. So across here, keyframe, going across there. Just cl I'm clicking on the piece of cheese and hitting three and one on my keyboard, and I'm gonna keyframe there. So now we can play from the beginning, and there is our happy celebratory mouse dancing across the sky, celebrating this giant piece of cheese. So that brings us back to my animation that I already created. And if you just render it out, um, you, you'll have something very similar to this. So all you have to do is go into your uh, render settings. We can up this to full HD if you want. It's just set to standard HD. And then we can change the format to a uh, H.264. 
and pick where you want to save that. Um, and let's just hit, start hitting render and your scene is going to build out. Last thing you got to do is make sure that you have um, all frames selected. And we'll replace that and there we go. So that was a quick, fun little tutorial on how to uh, fuse a couple different topics inside of Cinema 4D into um, one of your first animations. So stay tuned for more.